Hey, what have you decided to sink your teeth into for the rest of your life? Have you decided? I'm Lisa Dublin and these are the Basement Chronicles. This is episode number 58. I borrowed the phrase sink your teeth into from Jordan Rayner's book, Master of One, in which he says that when we figure out our purpose and decide to focus exclusively on it, well, we become particularly effective in this world. I tend to agree because it took me a long time to figure out what my one thing was. But what about you? What is the career path that you were made for? Not just the job that you fell into when you were young and bewildered. Of course, when we think of people being born to do what they do, we think of the greats, MJ, Serena Williams, Michael Phelps, Beyonce, Oprah Winfrey, Eric Thomas, The people whose names become almost synonymous with their talent. But even in our own circles, we can identify people who make an indelible impact because they are just good at what they do. I think of my kid's kindergarten teacher who long before we met her was already a legend. And in practice, in real life, she lived up to her reputation in every way. She is so devoted to teaching kids that she puts a special kind of love into every lesson. Are you one of those people? Most of everybody is doing what they don't want to be doing for a living. Now that is tragic but not surprising because we're all just trying to get by. But what if it were possible to even think the dangerous thought that you could live in purpose for the rest of your life, no matter how old you are right now. It's a dangerous thought because it can actually happen. And today, I dare you to think it. If you are interested in finding out a bit more about your one thing, I would encourage you to read a couple books that have really clarified the topic for me. As I mentioned, Jordan Rayner's book, Master of One, Gary Keller's The One Thing, and another book I have just recently discovered, Range by David Epstein. I think we owe it to ourselves to live in purpose. I think we owe it to ourselves to spend the majority of our lives loving the work we do which means we need to find what we love to do. And I think we can do that if we just go after it. So I hope you find your one thing that you want to sink your teeth into for the rest of your life. So if you know what you're supposed to be doing, but have trouble settling down to do the work, perhaps my latest digital course will help you. I am super proud of my course, Get That Goal, Seven Steps to Accomplish Your Most Important Goal This Year. This mini course is a little powerhouse, let me tell you, because it helps you to clarify your MIG or your most important goal, as I call it. And it teaches you powerful strategies to overcome procrastination and distraction. Go check it out on my website, lisamdublin.com. It really is time to go after your one thing. I am Lisa Dublin. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Lisa M. Dublin. And if this video has inspired you, why don't you share it? Yes, go ahead right now, share the video, and hit the subscribe button. I so appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time on Basement Chronicles.